Here's a medical fact that we rarely talk about, but absolutely need to. That modern gynecology was built on slavery. So the modern speculum began in 1845, which was essentially two bent spoons. American doctor James Marin Sims used these crude instruments to separate the vaginal walls and get a POV of the vaginal canal that no one had ever seen before. Sounds like medical progress, right? Well, it was, and it wasn't. Because every single one of his initial experiments were performed on a slaved black woman without anesthesia, despite it being readily available at the time. As Rachel Gross writes in her incredible book, Vagina Obscura, you cannot talk about the birth of American gynecology without talking about slavery. They were that intertwined. Sims used his new speculum while performing surgeries on enslaved women who had no choice but to endure unimaginable pain. In his own memoir, he casually mentions operating on a woman he only referred to as anarcha 30 times. 30 times. Seeing as the medical establishment was 99.9% .9 men at the time, they applauded him for it. They put him on a pedestal, comparing his invention to the printing press. Even though speculums have been around since ancient times in Greece and Pompeii. As a result, Sims became president of the American Medical Association in 1876 and later became president of the American Gynecological Association. Eventually, Edward Cusco developed the two-bladed version with a screw mechanism in 1870 and TV Graves added the duck bill design, which is still in use today. That's right, we've been using essentially the same design for over 150 years. And in that time, the speculum has given rise to something called biopower, the unquestioned authority we give to the medical establishment. In exchange for their knowledge, we hand over trust and control over not just our bodies, but our lives. I cannot tell you how many times I've laid on that exam table, legs spread apart, holding my breath until it's all over. And I know I'm not alone in that. We make ourselves vulnerable in ways that go far beyond the physical. And for too long, we've been told that discomfort, pain, and trauma are just part of the process. But that is now changing. After 180 years of this medieval approach to women's healthcare, we finally have something different. Two brilliant female Dutch engineers are creating a completely redesigned speculum made by women for women. That video drops tomorrow, so follow for more. And at the end of this month, we're releasing our period blood video part two on the row study. So make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel because you definitely don't want to miss that.